Hey guys, Wally Bees. Got a package in the mail the other day from one of you YouTube subscribers. Just call him Joe. Sent me this uh, Goovy temperature and humidity sensor probe that you put in your hive. Or you can put it in your hive. You can put it anywhere you want. They use them in humidors and you can just put them in your house and control them by your Bluetooth. But he had the bright idea. He bought a couple and put them in his hives and he decided that if he was going to suffer through dealing with data and looking through it that I needed to. So he sent me two of them. You can find them on Amazon. So I'm going to come over there to the camera and we're just going to unbox this and put it in this hive here. So, what do we have? We've got oh, just a little small little sensor. Looks to be about an inch and a half by an inch and a half. Get my other finger out of the way so you can see there's there's the little sensor hole. Little lanyard, I guess. Let's see. Yep. Got a little lanyard that comes with it and the standard propaganda and the probably three or four different languages of instructions. It might help if I looked at the instructions right quick. All right, take it out of the box. Download the app, which I've already done. Pull this blue tab. Yep, it's running. So we're going to pause the video. I'm going to get my tablet and everything out of the way, and we're going to set this bad boy in there. All right, now that we got all the unboxing done, let's do the do the deal. We can go ahead and put this temperature and humidity sensor in this box. Eight frame deep, sugar shim. These are already up in the sugar shim, I'll bet. Just gonna lay it on top of the frames. See what happens. Don't know what kind of temperament the girls are going to be in. It's about 60 degrees, December the 13th. Yep, they're already up into the sugar shim. I have to keep an eye on these girls. They're already eating on the sugar. That was quite simple. All you do is just set it on there. And we're going to go down here and do a polystyrene hive with the next one. We'll pause the video and we'll start back up on that one. All right. We're down here with the polystyrene hive now. I'm gonna slide this sensor in this girl. She is a New River mite biter. These girls are all up in this sugar. Back in there. So the theory that I'm running on, and which this this will definitely prove out, thanks to Joe, I'm willing to bet poly hot, polystyrene hives, since I have no ventilation in it, only ventilation hole is what you see down at the entrance. Well, you can't actually see the entrance. Because I'm so tall, I have to have the camera up so high. But my 
theory is this one is going to be a lot more humid than your wooden hive next to it because this is a tighter hive we we'll also listened to a couple of uh, doctorates or doctor professors in Germany that's done research on polystyrene hives saying that the humidity helps control the varroa mite, which, you know, they've got the PhDs to back it, but there's no real uh, research that I know of gone on here in the United States. But they're saying that over a couple of years, I wish I could find that again. One of those things you wish you'd kept a bookmark of when you were online. But they were talking about they're using polystyrene hives like this and another brand that it helps control the varroa mites. They don't breed in the high humidity like they do in the lower humidity. But anyway, this is going to be a fun example of technology in the hive. I know it's probably been done before, but it hadn't been done here at Woolly Bees. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks, Joe. For the sensors. Have a great day, I am.